What's up everybody? Welcome back. If you would have seen the video from the other day, you would have seen the unboxing of about $600 worth of tarantula cribs. We have the rest sitting over here. The pile on the table today are what we're going to be setting up for the shipment we have coming in tomorrow from Fear Not Tarantulas. If you'll take a look real quick, we have our medium sized treehouse switch, two treehouse switch smalls. We got two of the Tarantula Collective limited edition three by three by threes, a couple sling enclosures. We got our fossorial four uh, inch circular and our three by three by six. So today we're gonna go ahead and lay out some of the supplies we have, get this together, get this rolling. And that sounds good. Alright guys, so the supplies we're going to be using for these builds are the Josh's Frogs Dig It Substrate. We're going to give this a shot. We got some terrarium sphagnum moss. We're going to throw that, a little bit of that in. We've got some dried leaves chilling up in here we got for that. We've got a bunch of round cork bark hides and all sorts of lovely stuff we're going to be able to fit into enclosures, break up and whatnot. And then we have a pack of teeny tiny little porcelain beautiful bugs, petite like my princess. <laughs> all right guys, let us jump into it. Uh, yeah, so we've been kicking butt guys. This is a uh, small tree house I just finished. We're gonna show them off in some depth, but I think it looks super duper cool, yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody, we're back. Had the camera die once or twice. Just a little bit of technical difficulties. But the enclosures that we have set up for the slings and juveniles we have coming in, we have finished. We have a stockpile of other stuff still over there that we haven't touched yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we decided to do, how we got these set up, and how sick these things really are. First enclosure review guys is going to be the Tarantula Collective Limited Edition 3x3x3 Green. These things are sick. This is under a blue light, but black light, anything of the sort like that will make these things glow. The corners really show up, but the middle panels are almost clear. Like You can really almost see directly through that, no problem. They come with clear tops. They are sick. Okay, I got a three pack of these. We have a third one still boxed up and I am definitely planning on wanting to get more, even if I don't use them, just because they're so freaking cool, man. Secret of what I know is they're already talking about creating different colors of these and if anyone from Tarantula Cribs is listening, you should definitely create different colors of these and you should also definitely go ahead and uh, look into larger designs within this color spectrum and maybe in the Switch, you know, because I love the Switch. Well, let's go ahead and check these out in the light. Alright guys, so with the lights on again, you can see the green is really in the corners. You can basically see through the center of the panels. It's awesome. Clear tops. Let me go ahead and pop this one off. Show you what we decided to do with this one. You can kind of see we took a few pieces of cork bark. Cork bark there, cork bark there, cork bark there. Created this awesome little tunnel hide which looks sick. We got these awesome little water bowls off of Amazon. And honestly, these are way cooler than I expected. You know, I, I, I didn't know if it was gonna be gimmicky or not, but these are totally worth it. They're super sick. They're super professionally done. And again, as you can see, spinning it around, the only real dark side is the uh, back. Everything else is clear. It is awesome, love it. Let's check out the other one done by the fiance. You can see she's had her stones added into everything. She's got her little bowls. She's got a nice little cork high in the back. We got sphagnum moss mixed in just a bit. These things are dope. 
On to the next enclosure. This next one up, I went ahead and took the lids off. These are the two by two by three spiderlings. And we went ahead and decked these things out. As you can see, sphagnum moss, cork bark, got some leaf in there using the uh, Josh's Frogs soil mix, little bowls from Amazon. These things are awesome. Can't wait to get some cider, uh, tiny little spiderlings up in these. All right, everybody, on this one, I'm gonna need you to drop in the comments who did the best on these two small <laughs> tree club houses. Oh yeah, I'm going there with it. I need you to drop in the comments which one, me or my beautiful fiance, did the best on these two awesome uh, tree house switches. Don't even tell them. I'm not telling them which one's which. I'm just gonna let them guess. Who did who? In the comments, you gotta let us know. All right, guys, again, these are the two small tree house switches. One with the typical flat top, one with the uh, top home part. Which one do you think's best, huh? I think they're both awesome. I think they both look amazing. Drop it in the comments, let us know. Up next, I'm gonna go ahead and knock these both out at once. This is the four inch 360 uh, fossorial crib. This is really awesome. We went ahead and topped it off pretty high. We got a nice little cork bark like section there to be able to start tunneling into, hopefully leading into this back wall, which would be amazing. Got a little water bowl up there for now. We have our hexagon, five inch by five inch by five inch hexagon. Usually, typically, you know, fossorial, you could use it for terrestrial as well, but we're, we're looking to use it for fossorial. Got a similar thing, got this kind of tree branch almost opening so that potentially we can get some tunneling in down here in the back. Got our sphagnum moss, sphagnum moss, sphagnum moss, sphag, whatever. Uh, some dry leaves, our kilo bowls, which we're gonna need a bunch of, because those things are just really awesome. And uh, yeah, these are great. Again, we have uh, another one of these, two of the eight inch versions of these, and we will definitely end up getting another five inch version of these and probably the two bigger versions of it as well because we're addicted, so hook us up. Yes, spider and tarantula cribs, hook us up with it. I got I gotta, a little, just a list, nothing too big. You know, maybe a couple of 12s too. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, on to the next. The final two. Here we have the medium tree house with the extended uh, flat canopy top. This adds an additional three inches. Normally this is six by six by eight. It is now sitting at six by six by 11. You can see we got this awesome piece of uh, cork bark in here. It's got this double ended tubing running down to a single tube here in the back. Super awesome setup. My fiance's rocks and stones in there, of course. Sphagnum moss looking awesome. We got the leaves over here on the side with some more rocks. And I believe, yep, I uh, installed kind of a burrow spot to where that empty hole up through this goes right down, because that would be pretty cool too. Even though it's arboreal species, you never know. It would be really cool to catch that. And while we're knocking it out, this is the, uh, I believe the uh, high rise, this is the three by three by six, basically uh, two three by three by three cubes that stick together. Uh, can be arboreal and it is uh, pretty cool. My, my fiance set this one up and it's really awesome. She has a thing for doing like these flat wall hides where you know <laughs> I can have a thing for doing uh, the tubes and it works out really well. It adds a whole lot of uh, separateness to it that makes it blend all as one. It's really cool. So say hello, beautiful girl, beautiful girl. She's so beautiful. Oh yes, oh yes. As I mentioned, guys, we have a whole ton left from this order. Uh, we have another, what is this, four inch 360 fossorial. We have two of the cuboids, two of the sliding lids. We got another canopy lid for that small tree house. One more sling crib and one, two, three, four, three by three by threes, including one being the third of our tarantula collective. Plus two eight inch fossorial 360s. It's craziness, we love it. Hook us up, check us out later on.